while we're starting this time. Hello, uh, I'm back from lunch. We are now going to start the Sonic 3 uh, and Knuckles Knuckles playthrough. Me too. Yes. I know words. Words make sense to me. Words be good. Words, words, words. We would not be here without words. Word. Alright, I hear the game radio. You can also see Sandopolis on the right there. Uh, yes. Oh, right. Uh, you want me to also share my screen through Discord? There you go. Are you ready? Yeah. Cool. So you notice, uh, when we were playing a Sonic, the ba okay, you weren't here, but the background here was of the ocean. Now it's the sky, because we're now flying. Uh, this shows that, uh, what does this show? The, the island is floating. Yes, yeah, so that shows that we uh, reached the good ending of, uh, we reached the good ending of, so of, in Sonic's yeah, playthrough. Yeah, Sonic, yeah, look. Yo. Now I have to do these same special stages really again. Joy. I, I know. I like really boring design, but I find it really funny if the red spheres and the blue spheres were, were flipped in terms of the purpose. I know it'd be confusing, but I think it'd be funny for red to be for Knuckles and like blue for Sonic. It's funny, there's a reviewer I watched who, talk, who recently re-reviewed Sonic 3, and he talked about that as a kid. Uh, he thought exactly that. Oh, it's, oh well, it's obviously dumb because of the blue icon on the top. Top left. I just like it would be funny if they did that. Actually, because I already got the perfects on all the stages last playthrough, I'm just gonna go straight for the emerald. So that'll, that'll speed up uh, this playthrough a lot. It's, it's, it's... A tad boring to to watch them again. Yeah. Knuckles got a Chaos Emerald. Woo! So in terms of Knuckles' uh, differences from Knuckles and Sonic, um, Knuckles can't jump as high, but instead he could glide and climb walls. Is there a game where Knuckles punches? Uh, yes. The adventure games and the advanced games. Okay. I feel like it's... I feel like it's unfortunate that Knuckles does not punch in this game. I feel like it would be difficult to really find a good use for it. Uh... Because, like, what what offensive capability would you gain with punching that you couldn't fight just by rolling into enemies? Dire points. Hmm. Have you considered that? I have not considered style points, no. And this will be the first step into transitioning it to be like Devil May Cry. Anyway, despite the fact that this is the only weird continuity thing, is that uh, Angel Island gets re-blown up by fire, which is kind of just weird, but sure. Sonic? Weird continuity. The gasp. Oh, 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 oh,
But yeah, the reason I said these stages were like boring to watch, or at least more boring compared to the half life, is I feel as though they're basically the same thing no matter who's playing this. They're basically the same, uh, to decide who, who plays it, you said? Yeah. I don't see how it's necessarily different from the half pipes. The pack pipes feel more dynamic. So this is our, uh, we are approaching our very first split path. So Knuck Sonic usually goes up here, but unfortunately Knuckles breaks this little block here, and you don't have enough speed or height to jump onto that ledge, which you need to Can't do. Can you like climb and glide? Oh, those spikes. Hmm. What if you had a buddy? Uh, then you would be able to climb up there. Yo, buddies. So, how this, what this does, which is slightly different, is that it spews fire uh, forward instead of just launching missiles upwards. Still a piece of cake. Anyway, time for Knuckles' Angel Island Act 2, which is completely different from Sonic's. And it also means is that it? there's uh, no special rings here, which means, in general, Knuckles has fewer rings to get uh, everything. Like, it's still fairly easy to get all the Chaos Emeralds and Super Emeralds, but technically less opportunities. Also, so much more, more spikes. And unfortunately, no double jump with the uh, electric shield. There's not much going on on the stage. This was a good time for Sonic Head Cannon. The reason why there were holes in the ground is because Knuckles made them to get around to places. That's a nice uh, head cannon. Always egg pond, not egg pond. Egg robo. Egg robos and all these fireballs. So, so egg robo actually shoots more fireballs than Eggman does, I think. Either that, or I'm just completely misremembering. But yeah, so I think that's a yes. Oh, uh, the egg robo thing, yeah. a lot like the, um, Sonic Adventure 2, but I said Sonic, mm, Sonic 2, Sonic 1, uh, which spot, which stage is it like? Mobile Garden? No. Yeah. That's unfortunate.
That's unfortunate. <clears throat> Having tr trouble there? Mm, merely surprised by something is all. But I would never have trouble, that would imply. Anyway. I, I simply ran into a bottomless trap hole, as well. Much to my surprise. <laughs> I would not expect such pitfalls to be around. Um, oh god, Knuckles says a uh, gimp jump means he can't jump out of the water. He has to actually... Drown? Yo! <laughs> no, he has to spin dash done? out of the water. Yeah, yeah. To so continue the uh, Magma stuff with this. This arena really reminds me of Blizzard Echidna. What's oh, it Blizzard Blizzard? Things ain't Echidna. Things Blizzard Echidna. It is a um, Mega Man Zero Three boss fight. I see. And as we all know, Mega Man and Sonic are the same franchise. I mean, uh, Sonic One did have disappearing blurks. Which are then? They have a blue guy. They fight a mad genius. There's the death wily egg thing. This is the wily egg. There's a red guy who's like the rival sort of. There's like a darkish kind of scheme, edgy rival guy. There's uh, a helpful person who makes stuff. Okay, but well what's the rush stand in? Uh, tornado. 
There you go. Okay. It, it's, it's the same game. Understandable. Phew, if you didn't ask me about Tango. Or Pete. Well, no, Pete, Pete is Chaos. Is this about there not being water in this game? No, on, only in the second half of the game. I feel like I didn't see any water of Sonic. Uh, there was- yes, you did. Listen. Oh, we were in, um... Launch base. Back is unclear. I meant underwater sections. Yes, in launch base. It must have not been significant then. I officially backpedaled. Can you just jump over the, uh... ...bumpers? Wouldn't that be faster? Uh, it's also... More uh, dangerous. Just don't screw up. Yo, it's Christmas. Okay, so I need to just quickly check something one, one moment. Audio? No, it's not audio. Is it your chat? Do you need to go back to ask chat questions? No, it's uh, space on my uh, file system. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I do like that the like UI thing has like a screenshot help thing. There's a really nice touch for the uh, game. Also, um, yeah, no questions. Let's just say the Paleozoic era was ended by a lightning storm. <laughs> okay, sorry for the delay, I have returned. When it gets like 5 to 8 gigabytes. So, you know. I have a terabyte hard drive, so... Oh, damn, that's too high. So I actually have to go this way. So what you're saying is you would own a terrible head of encourages you to uh, not be space person. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Stop hitting the spring! I don't have to respect the cockroach anymore. Pardon? I'm going to, because of a big rock, I'm going to choose not to respect the cockroach. Hmm.
because you drew uh, Nibiru, uh, you're gonna not no, try to... No, I was hit by a big rock, ah. and therefore I can't, I can't go into the golden cockroaches. As the best rocks are the biggest, uh, the earliest thing they could throw at me. There, that being said, my Fuck, angel has been... My oh, I managed to still save it. Woo! Okay. That being said, my perfect angel has uh, fallen. Save that. Uh, Give you more thrilling gameplay analysis when my screen space is less of the premium. Pardon? I'll give you more thrilling gameplay analysis of what you're doing when my screen space is less of the premium. But, um, go get, um, you can do it. Uh, get So, them in. in short, uh, you'll win until I'm done collecting Chaos Emeralds? Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, that's even better. That'd be even better timing. Or you just wanted to complete your uh, daily missions. I am in the middle of something, and well, I do have space for chat, of course. I don't quite have space for you. Okay. Yeah, well, okay, I could have space for you, I guess, in the corn bottom left corner. But like, eh? I have to like pop out your stream, and then you might get a big head, because you have like... So I'd be increasing your view account by like 50%. You just saw like a really cool Knuckles exclusive area. Or you just missed a really cool Knuckles exclusive area. Believe it or not, I have seen this game before. Last yeah, one. I've seen all the Sonic Oh, games. okay, so this guy, instead of coming down to suck up water, he just sucks up water from, uh, from the top, so you can't take the opportunity to hit him. It's like, it's, it's minor things, where it's like, he's technically harder, but... Up the water? Pardon? I just got a part of forehead. Still managed to teach him a lesson. <laughs> Maybe I wish I would revive my angel. I don't think Knuckles could, uh, get... I don't know how many... big rings Knuckles can get from here. Oh, shoot. Well, especially when he fucks up so hard. You're not doing that. I feel fucking up is bad. So if you get the bottom right, you're, like, locked out of pretty much almost all of the special stages. It is actually really... So, um, is... What's the word? Big Rings, the official name? Oh god, this is Tails' only road. Fuck. Um, I think Giant Rings are the official name. Oh, equally unimaginative. Or Special Stage Rings. That's a bit better. Or Warp Rings. Um. How am I supposed to get up? I can't. Oh, okay, I see. Giant is warping around. Mega Man games. For the solidifying my theory that they are both the same game uh, series. Yes.
So, give me playing after this one. Oh, Sonic 3D Blast. Yeah. Anyway, got all the Chaos Emeralds. Are you gonna go over the uh, intricate lore of Sonic 3D Blast? Uh, there's not really much intricate lore of Sonic 3D Blast. There's not much going on in terms of this game either, in terms of the special stages either. Now Knuckles can become Super Knuckles! Woo! Alright, so where the property of the Super Knuckles? Uh, it's faster, it can glide for longer. Why is Super Knuckles on Hyper Knuckles? Why would he be? Why would he be using to transform? Chaos Emeralds? Do you have the Hyper Emeralds? No. I propose to rename the Super Emeralds to the Hyper Emeralds. Can we- are you gonna rename the Chaos Emeralds to the, uh... I would like to, but that seems harder to do. No, it's- I can't go this way! Darn you, game! There's a special stage ring back there. Oh, so, uh, you'll find this amusing. So you know how Sonic or Knuckles can't jump as high? Yes. Uh, so they actually ha have this uh, platform come up so they could actually reach uh, the boss. Yo, it is just like Mega Man and Base in the King 3 fight. Yeah, King 3. King Stage 4 5 rather, but we're at King 3 in Stage what 4. Did, what, um, what year did uh, Mega Man Maze come out? Um, between Mega Man 8 and Mega Man 9. Okay, so this game precedes Mega Man and Maze. They're saying that this game is the time travel to copy it. Just like how Dino Blade. No, Dino Saga. Yeah, Dino, the first Dino Saga episode copies the ending of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Hmm. So, do you want to see Super Knuckles? Whatever. I just well, yeah. got crushed. I, I've seen this before. Like, oh, and I'm at the beginning of the stage. God damn it. Then this is why it's called Hubris. Like, again, believe it or not, I am familiar with Sonic. 
I've seen all the games. I've seen all the thingies. It's unlikely that there will be something I've not seen before. Say so you no, know Super Tails? Yeah, he has a little drone flying thingies, right? Uh, no birds. Yeah, drones. Okay. Does the music speed up in this game as well? Uh, if you hit... if you, uh... What am I thinking about? Transform. Speed shoes. Really, it's speed shoes that pick up. So... Uh, we're gonna get more into this in, uh... Sonic 3D Black. But, uh... The shoes are one of my favorite parts of the Sonic, uh, loss. Okay. I don't know how 3D Blast plays into that, but whatever. Clearly you don't know 3D Blast well then. Are you thinking of Sonic Labyrinth? Wait. Wait, wait fuck. Which one is 3D Blast again? Oh, uh, you'll see. Anyway, so this is another <laughs> Knuckles of Tooth So this is where Sonic has to go, but Knuckles can't hit the little gem to deactivate this lady. So what Knuckles has to do instead is climb up this. Could you? Why do you have to deactivate it? Can you just uh, not no, get hit by the arrow? No, because it, if you destroy the gem, uh, it uh, causes a plaque to open. I like how these conveniently play signs all over the place. To be fair, it would be, uh, if you were playing Knuckles and then it just had these signs, you'd probably, like, get lost, like, okay, what would I do now? No, I'm a crazy person. I climb up, I would climb up every wall. Just like you one would do in Mega Man CX Advent. With, uh, wall, kit, wall jumping. And you could glide with how cool you are. Or Mario Lynch, rather. I see they uh these spe the special is just the thing about things just kinda of boring. They've been kinda of neat, but like eh. I feel like I've seen the blue orb thing, you also the mechanic as a yes. stage. Cool. Uh they were reused in Sonic Mania. Probably for the battle. This is just like kind of boring. I like it because it's the most lucrative of the bonus stages. Like, whatever. My necklace also climbs a lot faster. Yes, yes. Speed up is a speed up. Is the... do the running shoes effect speed up? I'm not climbing speed. I don't think. Hello. 
You returned! Anyway, we, uh, we completed uh, the Sonic playthrough. Alright, so... Here is the intricate lore about Knuckles. He works with Eggman when he is stupid. Which happens a lot because Sonic is poorly written. Uh, and therefore we need him as antagonist. So, so to, to translate, get, to translate uh, Gabriel speak, uh, Knuckles <laughs> was duped uh, by Eggman, uh, saying that Knuck Sonic was here to seal the Chaos Emeralds. Okay, and what about Sonic Adventure? Oh, that he was just, yeah, that, that uh, he was also tricked again. And what about Sonic Mania happened again, or was it a different no. one? I think it's the third time. Anyway, so this is actually a unique boss for Knuckles. Yo, spikes. Because, uh, the Sonic's okay. version requires Tails to carry you, and since Knuckles is... Mobly challenged? Well, without Tails. <laughs> I just got done lesson planning, so I figured this was a good time to pop in and see how y'all were doing. We all doing good. I'm gonna teach my You students. teach math, I think? Is that right? Pro yeah. We're gonna do the product rule on Tuesday, and also the quotient rule. Any foil? Uh, I guess foiling will be later. What did you say? Uh, uh no, wrong, 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 wrong product rule, Gabriel. The calculus you product rule. For differentiation. Different. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah. So I have yeah, like okay. a lot of color coded rectangles. Yo, this. color coding. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, so this is uh, Knuckles' Carnival Night Zone uh, Act 1. Again, is completely different from Sonic's. In fact, the Sonic version of the level is literally above us. We just can't reach it. So. Wait, wait I'm sorry. There's another Carnival Zone game? There's all, this I'm is the only one. It. No, but you said... I meant... No, you misunderstand what the word another means. Okay, so, uh... Let me to explain why I'm doing this. Uh, so because Knuckles has different abilities, he actually has completely different routes through a lot of the stages. Mm -hmm. And narratively, it takes place after Sonic's story, so... So, in this playthrough, is Knuckles still operating under the delusion that Sonic is the enemy? Uh, no. Or no. Uh, Sonic has long since left the island, and he's just dealing with one of uh, Eggman's left-behind robots, which is causing a menace. Okay. Is only one? It appears to be a lot more than one. Uh, it's all the same one. I think. Okay, so Knuckles can glide and climb walls, but he can't jump as high. That is what we're working with. I can climb... Knuckles can climb, sorry. No, no, I lost all my- damn it. Okay, well that was short-lived. Do you also believe I'll pass the emerald collecting part? Is that right? Uh, for the first half of the game. A first? Oh no, there's more. Oh, yeah, emerald collecting part like so boring. It's like the same thing. I mean, so uh, Act Two starts with the same place where Sonic starts, and you can actually uh, get your way into Sonic's version of uh, Act Two. But and it's fun to do so. But for the sake of showing a variety in the levels, I'm gonna go to Knuckles' route, which is so sad at times, but. It's is what it is. Also, a necklace can break certain walls that Sonic can't. So. Well, 
Like these walls. Wee. So yes, uh, what is the difference between 3D Blast and Labyrinth? A Labyrinth is a Game Gear game. Uh. Like they're completely different. Uh, it's very similar. Not really. And this is where... No, I'm up here. So this is where um, Knuckles presses the button to cause Sonic to go up and fight the boss. Uh, we don't actually have to fight the boss, the, we just have to click this uh, capsule. So a fun thing about Sonic 3 is that uh, there's time bonuses if you complete the level, but if you complete the level on the last possible second, you get the maximum time bonus. And this is the easiest place to do it because you're never fighting a boss. Uh, I, 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 however... Wait, hang on a minute, what? I find last second. Uh, at 9 minutes and 59 seconds. You get a time bonus for taking yes. a long time. No, you get a time bonus for take for getting the last possible second before you die from a time from a timeout. Oh, so it, it it's like a by the skin of your teeth bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I could do that, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna respect your eight minutes. But like, this is probably one of the easiest places to get it. It's uh, seven. It's it's, it's awful design. I disagree. I think it's cool. I. Sounds really boring. Like, surely they could have said last minute. At that rate. Uh, the bonus is a bit too much for it to be last minute, only last minute sort of thing. Anyway, we're in the uh, ice cap now. Why is it too much for it to be last? Oh, yeah. Remind me, they still don't have a score thing in this game, right? A ranking system? Uh, yeah. No. Ah, wow, this is awful. This is only working. I find it interesting that it's like, like the more I hear about Sonic, the more I feel like understanding the weird and esoteric ways that this game functions is, like, part of it. So somebody who's, like, generically good at video games is not necessarily also good at Sonic compared to somebody who, like, eh. knows the ins and outs of all the weird stuff that this, these games do. I think the only weird stuff is, like, either screen wrapping, which is more of a glitch, and just doing the layout. Uh, no, but Olivia does have somewhat of a point. Like, a lot of my skill comes from just knowing weird things about how the game functions, and then... That's it, does. Uh, it's... It's... I can't think of anything great examples off immediately off Not the top it. of my head. Yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking about, like, when I watched the... Like, like, yeah, I mean, I've seen you exploit glitches before, and, like, even just, like, watching the competition... A big part of what determined who won and who lost was, uh, who fell victim to more glitches. <laughs> um, I don't know, and I just find it kind of interesting, like, it almost seems to me like, like, it, for a certain kind of person that could almost be part of the appeal of these games is because they're not yeah. straightforward. Have you ever heard of Sonic the Hedgehog 2006? I mean... I don't know. I don't know anything about Sonic, really. I'm just... It's the it's the, it's, it's the really infamous game that I ended up buying for the marathon. Okay. The one that is... It... That was more... That was kind of ridiculously expensive considering how bad it is. Right. It's... How do I phrase this? It is notorious for its glitches, I'll put it that way. Right. So, like, a person who goes in expecting the game to be like a normal video game oh my obviously goodness. is going to have a bad time. But, like, I'm oh wondering my. if there are people who enjoy it be 
because it's glitchy and that is like a uh, I like, like the way that some people enjoy doing ARGs, you know? ARG, ARG. Uh, it's like stuff where you, it, it's like a real life mystery solving kind of thing, like. Was it sample? I, I'm actually not sure. <laughs> All right. But the, the idea is that, like, somebody's making content and, like, it buried inside of the content are, like, strange, mysterious clues and via the power of teamwork. Yeah, Matt, and Matt, 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 Matt has done a couple. Yeah. Uh, like, I'm people in you. the audience are supposed to yeah. try to, like, piece together a mystery and sometimes, like, they have to, like, okay. do things in order to unlock more of... Also, the creators, of, the, yeah, creators, the creators of Gravity Falls also uh, did one after the series ended. Right under... I am too familiar with that series. I know of it. In some of the details, of course, but, like, anyway. So, like, I feel like the kind of person that's attracted to ARGs might also be attracted to a particularly glitchy video game. I- I don't think that's quite- I don't think that logic quite tracks, unfortunately. <laughs> like, any particular reason, or you just like, don't- I, I- I- I don't see the connection. I guess- so, like, when I watch videos about people doing ARGs, part of what that involves is, like, like particularly game-based ARGs. Like, people will be, like, you know, digging into the source code and, like, figuring out, like, secret parts of the game map that you have to do by doing, like, specific things. And, like, it just seems to me like that process is yeah, very that similar sounds. to the process of learning, like, the glitches of a glitchy okay, game. Okay, no, I, I, I see that. Um... I think it's more like less. I guess in that case, it's less specific about learning the glitches about the glitchy game, and more just learning about like everything in terms of like how it's coded. Because that's not just how like it's not just the coding aspect, but like just the aspect of like something is presented to you which is not as it seems, and you must like do oh, some BCO. investigation in order to conquer it. Hmm. Typically, though, with a lot of games, someone has already done that work for you, so you're just using someone else's work, so to speak. Sorry, what did you say? Typically, in, let's say, are you familiar with speedrunning? For a moment. Alex, yep. the point is to avoid the penguins. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Anyway. Um, are you familiar with speedrunning? I think we lost Olivia. Yeah. Sorry, no, I'm still here. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell you all, you guys are saying. Uh, are you familiar uh, with speedrunning? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, um, so what Blake Gabriel's, Blake Gabriel's essentially going on is like, there's usually two different people there. Uh, usually like, passers or glitch hunters, which, uh, they are the ones who like, try to find all of the weird glitches, and then there's the speedrunners who actually, uh, take action on those glitches, like use what the glitch hunters find for their benefit. So it's uh -huh. like, uh, people who like to glitch are- it's usually like a teamwork of two different types of people. Well, three. Actually. Yeah, speedrunners, uh, there's another sec- you can subdivide that into those who make the routes. Okay, yeah, route makers and route players. Yeah. But yeah, that's my, essentially the point I'm making. So, like, you're- just to be clear, what you're saying is that you don't think that the connection tracks because the people who enjoy like finding out the weird stuff are not the same people that enjoy actually playing the game using the weird stuff. Oh, uh, that would be on like... board, but I mean most people who tend to do so and different people, as opposed to what you're describing, which sounds like it's the same. Actually, posting. I guess I guess for me, what I think the big difference is, I think I realize why. I've... I might sort of have not really issue, but like I'm sort of not necessarily on board. It's because it's because um, you're sort of presenting it as an if and only if relation, where it's like where I find people who enjoy ROGs is the type of people who would like to learn like all the well, things. I'm not really presenting anything. I just said I wonder if this is a thing. <laughs> okay, so let me. Okay, present is not the right word, but like I disagree that it is a two-way relationship essentially. Yo, penguins. I think. Uh, okay. I think. I think. I don't really feel like I'm made any such as- okay, I guess... You said it's like, I, I, I think these type of- I think it's a lot more nebulous than I think you think it is. 
so, but stuff. you're thinking that it, okay so you're thinking like that people, the, people, people who like aogs are probably also like would be have people who like glitch hunting and glitch using but i don't think it's really uh people who enjoy taking advantage of the glitches of the game would necessarily be the same people who enjoy an arg okay because well because i i am I, I am i am part of one group and i'm not part of the other right yeah 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 okay by part of one group, you're referring to people who enjoy using glitches versus people who enjoy finding glitches, or are you referring to the? I, I'm, I'm, video I'm, I'm referring to the fact. I'm referring to like video game versus AOG. Like I love, I love to oh. learn, like, what what makes my the video games I play tick. Um. You don't want to find out how it ticks yourself, though. Yeah, but I'm not. I don't think I would be someone who would be a big ARG person because the thing with ARG is it's very much like a mystery game, and I might. Uh -huh. I might enjoy sort of like digging into, I don't know. Like I don't Someone see myself playing our an, an no, ARG. Three times to see if it breaks or not. Yeah, I mean, like, I think probably also there are people who enjoy ARGs who wouldn't enjoy glitchy video games because ARGs have like a plot to them, whereas finding the glitch of a video game is. Like, well, also, I, th I guess another like thing a... is that there's glitchy video games. Like, see, the thing is, usually what people refer to as glitchy video games are video games where it's like where you don't you don't have to try to find glitches to cause them. You just play the game and then weird things happen. Like, oh no, I fell so, through the floor because it's fully coded. Yeah. So, and in those cases, I think the enjoyment there is more just like, hey, what weird shit can happen? And right. what, whereas, like, finding glitches in you what what is normally stable games. I think it's a very different appeal. Like, um... Yeah, I Pokemon. mean, like, I'm imagining these as, like, Venn diagrams, right? Like, yeah, I think that there is significant overlap, but, like, obviously not total overlap. And also, keep in mind that I also don't know what the hell I'm talking about, because I neither play Sonic nor have really ever participated in an ARG, so... <laughs> Yo, you're human. <laughs> the implication being I'm not because I play Sonic? No. Yes. Uh, you missed with no, the app. No, that is actually exactly what we're saying. You, you're not a human being, Alex. Sorry, you've been disqualified. <laughs> sure. By the way, would you consider the first Pokemon game to be well programmed? Uh, or at least not glitchy. Oh, that's a hard one. Uh, no, I would not consider it to be well programmed because even if ignoring the glitches, there's just a lot of mechanics like which don't work. A bad game design does not make it fully programmed. No, but it's like, it's like where it's clearly there is an intention, but it just doesn't do what it's supposed to. Uh, example. Uh, I don't remember all the thing weird things about. Uh, but they Pokemon. exist, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna look up what ARG stands for. So, my guess is augmented reality game, but that doesn't Alternate really reality game, I looked it up. Oh. Which one? Alternate reality game. Interesting. It seems self-indulgent. All of human civilization is self-indulgent. Like, we like someone more so than others. That's subjective. I don't know. My, to me, the, my subjectivity is objective. This is the fallacy of um, objective opinions. Like, everybody thinks that their opinions are objective. Well, no, it's like some people's opinions are right and some people's opinions are wrong. That's how opinions work. That is not how that works at all. It is my opinion that, this, that uh, 1 plus 1 equals 2. <laughs> it's, that's not how that oh, no. works at all, and that is objective reality and definitely Me not just my opinion. <laughs> no, it, it, it's. It, uh, it's what's my opinion is what axioms I'm considering canonical. Mm. I forgot how we ended up on this tangent in the first place. Uh, so <laughs> well, luckily this is all being uh, recorded, so. I could give you an answer if you'd like, but it doesn't really matter. I suppose not.
Uh, no, uh, alternate reality game, Gabriel called Self Indulgent. Oh, I yes, that is how we got into that. <laughs> anyway. I mean, I guess it's hard for anybody to argue to me that anything is self indulgent, really, because I'm a theoretical mathematician. So, nice. like, You're theoretically nothing right. could be more useless than this. <laughs> but are you practically right? No, because uh, theoretical math uh, doesn't deal with the practical. Yeah, like, I mean, I guess, like, I'm a big believer in just doing stuff for the joy and beauty of it, which is why I've decided to uh, be stressed and unhappy all of the time. Um, That's unfortunate. <laughs> not actually. Like, it, it's not actually unfortunate or not actually? Well, it, it's not, a I'm not actually stressed and unhappy all the time. I'm... Stressed and unhappy sometimes I mean, because I'm at a transitional about. period in my life where, like, my future is kind of insecure. It, so, it's not... you say, you say A and B is false, but it's A true. Sorry, what? You said A and B was false, but that still means that A or B could be true. I have forgotten what exact sequence of words that I said that caused you to bring this up. Uh, stressed and unhappy. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hold on. I'm retracing the conversation to figure out how to respond to this. Uh, it's hard to do that and also watch all these flashing lights and colors at the same time. <laughs> what was I even talking about? Oh, yeah. Okay, let me get back to the original point, which is that, <laughs> like, the reason that I had decided to do math in the first place is because I think that it's cool to just, like, explore stuff and think about stuff and be creative for its own sake. That sounds like and philosophy. And I think that ARD... Yeah, basically. Like, math like I like think that all human acts of self-expression are valid and worthwhile. So, like, ARGs, math, art, literature, philosophy, all that shit. So, no, they brought back this special thing, really? What did this you say? This is the other pinball. Oh, you're talking about the game now. Okay. Yes. <laughs> also, uh, Olivia, I don't think I ever showed you too. Because I have the fire shield, I'm immune to fire. That has been all. Your okay. negative is like a positive. Anyway, I probably shouldn't hang around too much longer because, like, I should probably try to accomplish something else with myself today besides just lesson planning. Probably what if you do multiple things at once? What did you say? What if you multitask? I cannot. I mean, I, I, I could try, but it's not going to be very successful. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Because, like, I'll either end up just completely ignoring you guys, or not actually doing work, or probably most realistically both of those things. Like, if I try to do both, I will do neither successfully. <laughs> well, uh, I say, uh, join us in t talking, because I enjoy your company. Well, would you like me to drop out of grad school? <laughs> yeah, like, what's, what, do you have, what else do you have to do? I mean... I have homework that I could be working on. I have a meeting with my advisor weekly that I have not prepared for yet for this week, and so okay. even though it's not until like Thursday, uh, stuff happens fast, and there's not very many hours in the day. So like every hour that I'm not making progress on one of those things, okay, there's an no. hour that I'll have to do it later instead. <laughs> the grind does not. Okay, I just- I thought- I didn't realize that you saw that much on your plate. Well, I mean, I- I have the same amount of- on my plate as I always do. Like, literally all of the time. It's kind of continuous. I'm, like, in a weird transitional phase where, like, the amount of work that I have to do at any given time isn't really quantifiable anymore. Because, like, it's more just, like, I need to 
be making progress on a variety of stuff that is always there and there's always more of it that I could be doing. I'm so glad I'm not at school in school anymore. I would well, be, I mean, but isn't like... Isn't that also what having a job is like? Do you have like a clearly defined list of tasks and if you accomplish them then you are done? Uh, no. Or are you just generally expected to like be productive? Uh, it's more- it's more that, uh, when I'm not at- at- when I'm off hours, I don't work- have to work. Oh, that's true. Well, I mean, for me, my off hours is, like, I guess Saturdays in practice are my off hours, because I spend them at Mandy's house, basically. Uh, and, like, evenings. I went to school, but, like, I didn't want to do it during this remote pandemic thing. That seems really annoying. Well, it was annoying when I was doing it, so I'm like, through that. There we go, with Gabriel being with his objective subjective. <laughs> it's ob yeah. My it's the subjective it's the subjective statements are objective for Gabriel. And as Gabriel's reality is always true, true it reality. is objective for Gabriel. And yes, and as Gabriel's reality is always the reality that exists, it must be objective for everyone else. Ergo <laughs> logical I sound. Feel yeah, okay, good. That that's laughter. <laughs> you are definitely joking. Good, just checking. <laughs> One of the jokes I try to make is the most obviously, like, logical fallacy as possible. Yes. No, but, but uh, like, I mean, you think it's obvious, but, like, some people, you know? I know. But yeah, so with, like, school, uh, the issue is that, like, there's no clearly defined, okay, now I'm working now. It's just a constant non-stop. It's not that different for like work, it really depends where your work is, of course. It like, yeah. vary a lot. For you specifically, Alex, do you have your like clear cuts? For school itself, you could do about the equivalent if you want to cut it out evenly as well. Yeah. However, people don't, it's more free form. I think the other problem is is that I'm not like I'm not great at being uniformly productive. Like, sometimes I'm very productive, and sometimes I just don't do anything the entire day. And, like, I can't really time when that happens, because some days I'm just a piece of shit, and there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so, <laughs> how, how, about how about this? Uh, if you are able to be productive, then go be productive. But if you find yourself just being that uh, today is just one of your piece of shit days, will you join us? Yeah, Alright, sure. Oh, oh no, I've been sitting cross-legged and now I'm trying to move and my foot is completely dead. And by dead, I mean tingling intensely. No, no, necrosis? <laughs> yes, that is exactly what I meant. I have to go amputate my leg now, BRB. Alright, uh, well, try not to make a mess. It can be problematic. It can be liquid to get all over the place. Yeah. Fortunately, I have my own bathroom, so... <laughs> Yo! Do you have a... Um, what's the word? Well, you said bathroom, so you probably have one of the two things. Though it is typically used interchangeably with... Therefore, however... In conclusion, I, period. I'm... Yeah, well, I so... am only hearing some of the words that you are saying. What did you say? I imagine you heard all the words. Basically... So, uh... About five ellipses. Yeah, Gabriel's basically saying, like, do you have your own room where you could take a shower, or is it just uh, your own room where you could uh, piss and crap and all that stuff? No, I have I have my own shower, yeah. Sorry. Ugh, elegance. It's so, like, I have my own bedroom, my own shower, I share the kitchen and the laundry machine, and, like, a common space with everybody else in the suite. I love having my own bed. It's so weird to like share a bathroom with other people. It makes everything very inconvenient. <laughs> oh, I'm s okay. Am I fucked? Yeah, I'm fucked. Damn it. <laughs> Try being active at hours which do not um overlap with others. I mean, like, it's not just, like, bathroom space, but even just, like, the mechanics of trying to go take a shower. Like, you've gotta, like, 
cart a whole bunch of stuff there and back every time, and it's, like, you can't, like, hang out, really, in the bathroom and, like, blow-dry your hair afterwards or, like, anything, really. You just kind of have to, like, sneak in and sneak out like some kind of fugitive. Okay, I have a solution for the last one. What if you don't blow-dry your hair? Sounds like you don't have your own Well, shower. then I go outside in the, like, negative degree temperatures and get hypothermia and die. Is that what you want, Gabriel? Are you trying to kill me? First of all, this is a, uh, sort of argument. Second of all, <laughs> aren't you American? Wouldn't you be, wouldn't you be Fahrenheit? Which, which makes uh, it, which I mean, makes it I, that, which just, which just shows, goes to show you how cold it is. Celsius for your convenience, except I did it badly, which is why I wasn't very specific. But also, yeah. like, no, no, you should, no, Olivia, you should have, uh, stu stuck with the negative, because negative, because zero is, zero Fahrenheit is colder than zero Celsius. So by saying well, negative yeah, temperature. Yeah, I would have been lying, because it hasn't actually been below zero Fahrenheit here recently. Don't let the truth get, a, get in the way of a good story. Ah. <laughs> uh, so. All right. Okay. All right. I actually am gonna go leave and be productive now. Good okay. Night. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah. That is for fun. Oh, well. oh, this house is gonna be interesting. I see they rebuilt the lumberjack guy. Mm -hmm. But maybe in the Canadian version, they'll call him Grizzly instead of Rumble. Oh wait, no, which one was it? There was something like that. It's a few weapons you can get though. Okay. Yes, yes. You know, I think this day is more rainbow. Fun fact about the Rainbow Sage and Sonic, uh, Rainbow Special Sage and Sonic CD. Uh, that rainbow effect caused the uh, the video quality to tank. Not surprising. It would be. It makes the uh, video compression far more complicated. Yep. Oh, 
Oh. Oop. No, I say that for Sonic Adventure 2. Okay. The uh, intricate little of colors. Okay. Is this special stage Jeff learned? Then what? The other one, the other one Sonic we're doing. No, they're not. Mm. I think you always do them in the same order. Oh, uh, yeah. I think they're going for a Cito aesthetic with this uh, level. This Pardon? zone. I feel like they're going for a uh, seasonal aesthetic. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, that was just me being fucking dumb. It was the first time. Thinking. And certainly won't be the last. Destroy anything? Oh, uh, there's actually. So, the reason this is so. Originally, Blind Battery wasn't gonna ha have a Knuckles, but because Blind Battery. So, originally, Blind Battery is part of the, gonna be part of the first half of the game. Um, oh, however, really? uh, they, they weren't able to finish it in time, so they had to move it to the second half of the game for Sonic and Knuckles. And that means uh, when you play as Knuckles, Root. Uh, in uh, Sonic and Knuckles alone, you would only have three stages, so it's like, they had to pretty much... Just for the sake of giving Knuckles a satisfyingly length adventure, they had to re-add Flying Battery back in. I'll probably explain that poorly, but the point is, uh... Its inclusion is not... was not for canonical reasons. Or for uh, counter the city reason.
So when does Classic Sonic end? When does Classic Sonic end? Yeah. After 3D Blast, I guess. I guess. So I went down last time, so let's go up. No, I was too low. Oh well. Oh, my name is... Oh, I guess I made that joke to you. Is that the sign glitching out? There's a sign glitching out? Yeah, the sign looks like it's graphically a bit iffy. Uh, I did not notice, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't have much to say. It's kind of very similar to the Sonic Blaster. Look, it's a nice gameplay thing. It's just not the most fun. I would have kind of liked it to be a bit more different. There's the question of will I be able to get all the super emeralds because I'm skipping a lot of... I skipped a lot of uh, 
Diet yes. rings. The answer is yes. Next. There were like two, what, two stages left? Three stages? Uh. And you. There's two more after this. And you only require to get what? Three wings? Two wings? Four. Hmm. Yeah, we fine. Oh, three, you're right. Okay, so it turns out I was thinking of Sonic 3D Blast and not Labyrinth. No, you're thinking of Labyrinth, not Sonic. Or. Go, okay, I'm gonna be playing Sonic 3D Blast. Then hey, why'd you bring up Labyrinth? Because I think that's what you. I thought that's. I think that's what you were thinking about. Well, based off some images, no. Okay, so then I, don't, then I have no idea what the hell the lore of 3D Blast you're referring to. What Wait, just? Wait, which one says the Sonic can't jump? That's Labyrinth. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna get into Labyrinth then. I uh, know we're not playing Labyrinth. You're not? No. Alright, fine. The intricate lore of La the reason why Sonic can't jump in Labyrinth is because when Sonic was sleeping, Dr. Eggman placed his shoes with other shoes that make sense of jumping. I know. However, in like some of the classic series, Sonic just randomly changes out his shoes for like speed shoes. Then in the Sonic Adventure games, they're like soap shoes because of Brandy at the time. That's only Adventure 2. Eh, close enough. This guy's a lot more, uh, happy. Uh, happy to split the fire.
Hmm, interesting. I okay, how did I not get hit by the spikes? I don't care. I'll because take I'm not it. eating spikes. Ceiling spikes are the true spikes. I see. Actually... Ah, damage boost. Oh, I... Mm. Oh, I could accidentally made a U-turn. Cool. Maybe the first time. Didn't get an uh didn't get any of the special rings. You did or didn't? Didn't. Wow, this is even more like Sonic Adventure 2.
that. One more chaos I rolled. Will this be it? I sure as hell hope so. We're done collecting Chaos Emeralds. Finally. Now we can turn Hyper Knuckles.
I'm gonna use uh, Hyper Knuckles to climb uh, the walls faster than the sand climb rises. Oh, also, uh, when Hyper Knuckles uh, glides into a wall, it causes a mild earthquake, uh, killing all on screen enemies. Yep. Yeah, we all, they all have uh, screen clearing moves. More we'll effectively, them. I don't know if the tails is going to act as screen clears. No, it, effect, they just have the super. So. They just have the birdies, which attack anything. Which effect? Yeah, effectively screen clears. I think speedruns don't actually get the ambulance. Any percent that is? Uh, no. Right. It absolutely takes longer to get them than uh, the time they would save. But I presume for 100, for all ambulance, some all ambulance routes, they get them. They use, they try to maximize the uh, super form. Yeah. Probably. Knuckles exclusive routes. Woo. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. Oh, it's a trick. I see. Actually, might as well clear the ghosts while I'm here. Oh, I got it. It's a puzzle. One stage left. I see. Okay, so that's how they actually force you into Knuckles. Okay, cool. So if you somehow managed to get on the other side of that robot, you could actually go to Sonic's route, but that robot uh, stays there, so...
Uh, that looks like that wasn't gonna work out. Oh well. I think at this point we've rejoined joined with Sonic's route. Oh look, no super form. I can now fight these guys fair and square. Save for the fact that I can barely see the bullets. Though, you know, that's interesting. That's gonna be fun. Didn't you say you're invincible while spin dashing? Uh, I think this guy might be able to crush me. Or no, it's not that I'm invincible, it's that there's certain like types of hitboxes, but I'll try spin dashing. Yeah, I know that one hurts. So they don't look against this guy, but look against the other guy. Yes. Amazing programming. Lava Reef 2. I really like Lava, Lava Reef 2. Is it better than that? Is it so... Is it because Lava Reef 1 is so good? Well, I guess part of it, but I, I just like the contrast of... Uh, like... This is... Of... Having a Lava, a lava Zone... Have essentially be completely crystallized. Oh, I see.
So remember how you uh, thought Hidden Palace Zone, Sonic's Hidden Palace Zone was a super short zone? This one even shorter. Amazing. That was it. And our time for the final uh, boss. I'm sorry. Is that Sky AGI in the background? Is that right? Yeah, that's Angel Island in the background. Okay, so where are you standing on? Uh, a part just outside of Angel Island. So is it the Angel Islands? I, I think you're uh, looking too much into this. What else am I going to look into? There's not much going on. Uh, fight against Me Mecha Sonic. Yeah, Mecha Sonic Mark 2, got it. Neck and knuckles. Well, now I'm fighting against Super Mecha Sonic. Yeah, yeah, we got the same thing. Yeah, I can't see this, but. This is, I think, the only time uh, the Master Emerald is used for someone to go into their super form. Which is actually a shortcut the Archie Comics uses a lot to get characters into a super form. I was gonna say, I've it. Yeah, it's used by the Archie Comics. Which I honestly think it's like a, a, a night conceptually cool idea to have the Master Emerald be able to turn someone super alone. Yeah. I kind of like it when the mass end with power to uh, keep the other ones in check. Anyway, Mecha Sonic is finally destroyed. Yay. I'm sorry, so Tails, they came back from? Yeah. What? Right. Alright, that was Knuckles' playthrough. Yay. And that was, and that was like, uh, only barely over two hours compared to the three hours of, uh, the Sonic route. You have less stages until you aren't going for the first many emeralds. No, I was going for the same amount of emeralds. Oh, uh, not emeralds. The public school thingy. Ah, yes, that. Uh, I don't, th I think the perfect store is probably, like, not that much of a difference. I think the big thing is that there's less stages and even... A lot of those knuckles. Well, it's two things, not one. Yeah. I'm saying I'm just saying the second is probably more relevant, or not the whatever. The stages are probably more relevant than the perfect. No one is significant. <laughs> anyway, as the credits roll, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be back. Hmm. No I uh, I'd like to thank uh, Stream Elements, our most consistent viewer.
And there we go. Cool. Sonic 3 is done.